What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to illustrate a glow effect. Now this is a lot similar to what other TikTok artists do when they split their drawing into either two or four different pieces. Do one side with a realistic effect, another side with a glitch effect, and one side with the x-ray effect, and then another one with the glow effect. What I'm doing today is the glow effect. So what I'm doing today is gonna be a lot similar. But what are you gonna need for this video? So I will be using Posca pens. Of course, I'm gonna use a white. And then for the glow effect, you can use any kind of colors you want. The colors that I'm using are pink, green, yellow, and blue. And for this effect, you can use any other colors you want, but you will need a white. And for this glow effect, I'm also going to be utilizing some colored pencils. So whatever colors you chose as your Posca pens for this video, you're going to need the same colors as colored pencils. The brand of colored pencils that I'm using are Prismacolors. I'm using also a yellow, a green, a blue, and a pink. And since we're still talking about pencils, I am going to use a white colored pencil. And then I'm also going to use a regular pencil to get my sketch down. So those are all the supplies you're going to need for this video, but without further ado, let's get started. Also, I forgot to mention that you will need a dark background for this tutorial. The paper that I'm using is Canton Bristol paper. So what I did to get a dark background was that I took my fat Sharpie and just colored it in multiple coats so I can get a solid black. So that's what you're going to need for this video. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my sketch down. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm actually going to use the word glow. I'm not going to do anything too fancy. I'm just going to keep it simple. So I'm just going to use my ruler and just write the word glow. Okay, so you can, you can possibly see that on camera. But that's what I'm going to use. Just going to use the letters and the word glow. And now since I still have that barely visible, now I'm going to take my white colored pencil and solidify those lines. Okay, so now I'm going to take my colored paint pens, which means we won't be using the white just yet. So I'll be taking my colored paint pens, and I'm just going around each letter with whatever color I want. But your main goal with this is to work around these white lines. It'll serve a purpose later when we apply the white paint pen. But for now, I'm going to do that in time lapse and then come back to you guys. Okay, now after you finish, you want to give your paint pens a little bit time to dry because our next step is to add the colored pencils and we don't want that to kind of smudge when we apply it. But I guess you can kind of eyeball it to see if it's dry or not. Also, when you're doing this, try to go over in like one layer because if you build up on layers, it's going to be a little bit difficult to apply a smooth transition between the paint pens and the colored pencil. But now I'm going to go over in my pink colored pencil on the letter that I colored with a pink paint pen. And I'm just going to just go in some circular motions. Applying the colored pencil just outside of that letter G. And then with your colored pencil, you can apply multiple coats so you can, uh, so you can attempt to get a good blend. Okay, and now once you get closer to these paint pen lines, you can apply more pressure with the colored pencil. So that way you start to see more of a transition there. All 
All right, and you should end up with something that looks like this. So now you can take your colored pencil and kind of spread that light out. But still go in a circular motion because colored pencil may not be the easiest to erase. Alright, now you got a glowing letter G. So all that's left to do is take our white paint pen. We're going to give it a little shake first because we need it to be opaque. So now everywhere inside of this glow where we applied the white colored pencil earlier, we're just going to go over top of that with our white paint pen. All right, and now you got a good looking glow. So let's do the same for the letter L, and then I'm gonna do the rest in time lapse. So I'm gonna take my yellow colored pencil and just go around the letter L. Just going in a circular motion. Alright, and then when I'm getting closer to these paint pen lines, I'm going to apply more pressure. And even then, we will start to see a transition between those paint pen lines and the black. And then, just apply more circular motions outward. So that way you can get more of a glow. But still having a transition in between layers. Okay, and now let's get our white paint pen again. Just go over top our initial white colored pencil sketch. And there we got a G and a L with the glow effect. So I'm gonna do the rest of the letters in time lapse and then come back to you guys with some final words and end the video. Okay, so even after you apply the white paint pen, you can always go back and, you know, touch up some areas with the colored pencils. Or maybe add another layer on top of the colored pencils with one of your colored paint pens. That you can definitely do. But anyways, that's how you do a glow effect with Posca pens and colored pencils. And as usual, all the supplies that I use in today's video will be in the description down below. But that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.